when Voice of the Children first started, we, um, someone approached us and said, oh, you know, I'm going to do fundraising. Um, tell me about a little bit about VOC. So we said, we look after all children, undocumented children, stateless children. That was part of our dialogue and our, you know, um, uh, what we shared. And then they said, oh, no, uh, I want to do something for our children. So I said, how do you distinguish? This child is born in Malaysia. How do you distinguish between that child and a child who seemingly has citizenship, right? So for me, I can't do that distinction. A child is a child, a child needs to be protected, a child needs an opportunity to grow um, in a safe environment, to reach and be able to achieve their full potential, and that's what we're trying to do. But the biggest challenge is this lack of knowledge, lack of awareness and mindset, that they are foreigners who are just trying to scrounge off our goodwill, scrounge off our society. Through Voice of the Children, we work very closely with um, PR companies, for example, to raise awareness. So these are people who have expertise in terms of running campaigns, uh, good advertising campaigns or awareness raising campaigns. Um, they can do a lot. The lay person um, who just has a heart can do a lot in terms of writing to your MPs and saying, there's a community within my my uh, social circle or whatever it is. I know of a parent whose child is adopted. Um, something needs to be done with that child. You can write to your MPs. You can write to um, um, the media. You can raise awareness among your own family and community. Because like I said, a lot of people don't have the right knowledge and understanding about people who are stateless.